welcome to today's lecture today we will be studying about the horizontal tracing or the transverse tracing of the peritoneum the layout of greater sac can be studied by tracing the peritoneum both vertically as well as horizontally now we will be studying the horizontal tracing the horizontal tracing can be done at these levels one is above the transverse colon that is through the supracolic compartment second is below the transverse colon that is through the infracolic compartment and thirdly at the lesser pelvis that is the true pelvis in both males as well as females so this picture is showing the horizontal tracing or the transverse tracing of the peritoneum above the transverse colon that is at the supracolic compartment so in this what all you can see here the structure so you can see this is the liver this is the stomach this is the spleen this is the left kidney right kidney then you are having the inferior vena cava then this is the aorta so here what you are having this is the porta hepatis so here you are having the bile duct portal vein as well as the hepatic artery so at the porta hepatis what you are having here so this is the lesser omentum so it encloses the stomach you can see two layers which encloses the stomach and pass to the left side so this is the left side this is the right side it is passing towards the left side towards the spleen and this is called the ligament that is called the gastrosplenic ligament so this gastrosplenic ligament when it reaches at the hilum this is the hilum of the spleen it splits into two layers and that layers is called the lino renal ligament l i e n o lino renal ligament so you can see this gastrosplenic ligament is splitting into two other ligaments and that is called the lino renal ligament so in this diagram if you see this is the anterior aspect whereas here is the posterior aspect so this gastrosplenic ligament it dividing into two lino renal ligament so one is in the anterior aspect so that is the anterior layer another is the posterior aspect that is called the posterior layer so one anterior layer it encloses the spleen you can see it so this is the anterior layer which is enclosing the spleen and also it covers the left kidney it also covers the left kidney and continues to line the structures in the anterior abdominal wall then the posterior ligament what you are uh, what you are seeing here so this is the posterior ligament so it lines the structures in the posterior abdominal wall then later it goes like this anteriorly so the both these layers get reflected as a falciform ligament on the liver so when it comes anteriorly so here it reaches to form this falciform ligament later you can see this falciform ligament which is present anteriorly so from the anterior abdominal wall it is completely enclosing the liver so this finishes the horizontal tracing above the transverse colon that is the supra uh, colic compartment so this picture is showing the horizontal tracing below the level of transverse colon that is at the infracolic compartment so here you will ha have the abdominal wall so on the back of the abdominal wall we can see a number of peritoneal folds and fossa what you are seeing over here so in the middle that is called the median umbilical fold then what what, what you are seeing here so that is called the medial umbilical fold then what is what is present here so this is called the lateral umbilical fold so you are seeing five folds so one is the median umbilical fold lateral to it is the medial umbilical fold and what you are having here so this is the lateral umbilical fold so on both sides you are having same uh, same thing whereas in the center it is the median umbilical fold then you can also see six fossas so what you are having here so this is called the supravesical fossa 
then this fossa what is present here is called the medial inguinal fossa and this is called the lateral inguinal fossa so you are having two supravesical fossa then two medial inguinal fossa and two lateral inguinal fossa so here what you are having this is the supravesical fossa so in between both the supravesical fossa you are having the median umbilical fold so this median umbilical fold it contains the median umbilical ligament which is the remnant of uracus u r a c h u s so in between the supravesical fossa and the medial inguinal fossa the fo fold what you are having here it is called the medial umbilical fold and it contains the obliterated umbilical artery in between the medial inguinal fossa and the lateral inguinal fossa you are having the lateral umbilical fold which contains the inferior epigastric vessels so later the peritoneum passes over the lateral part of the abdominal wall to reach the posterior abdominal wall so near the midline the peritoneum becomes continuous with the two layers of the mesentery and it reaches the small intestine so now we studied about the horizontal tracing of the peritoneum at through the infracolic level now we will be studying about the horizontal tracing at the true pelvis of the male as well as female so this picture what you are seeing it is showing the horizontal tracing of the peritoneum at the male pelvis so what all structures you are seeing here so this is the urinary bladder this is the rectum so in between the urinary bladder and the rectum you are having a pouch and that is called the recto vesical pouch then on the lateral aspect you are supposed to see two fossa so one is called the para rectal fossa another is called the para vesical fossa also you would see one fold that is called the sacro genital fold so this picture what you are seeing it is the horizontal tracing of peritoneum in a female pelvis so here what you can see the uh, structures are urinary bladder this is the uterus this is the rectum then you can see the broad ligament what is present here so the uterus and the broad ligament which forms a transverse partition across the pelvis then the pouches what you are seeing so this is called the in between the uterus and the rectum it is called the recto uterine pouch between the urinary bladder and the uterus it is the vesico uterine pouch and same way the lateral aspects you will have the para rectal fossa as well as the para vesical fossa and also you can see the meso ovarium by which uh, the ovary is suspended now what we have seen is the horizontal or the transverse tracing of the peritoneum at different levels so coming to the vertical tracing we will be studying it in the next lecture thank you for watching